Hey, this is Zach with the Parkinson's Gym, and I was asked by a client to give my explanation of on time, off time, and carbidopa levodopa. So here we go. Here is my very simplistic way of how I understand how um, carbidopa levodopa works for people with Parkinson's. So this down here on the x-axis is time. So as you're trucking along through your day and the hours tick by, you're moving along the x-axis. Over here is the highly scientific measurement of good. Not enough good, a whole lot of good. So pretty easy to understand. People with Parkinson's have this band of on time. Things are pretty good when you're in your on time. Not enough, considered off time. So up here we'll talk about it in a minute. What you have to do is take your Cinemat IR immediate release and boing, you're up into your on band. And as it dies off a little bit, you hopefully take your next dose right on time three or four hours later and boing, you're right back up in your on time. So you sort of spend your day just bounding through your Cinemat, your carbidopa levodopa, to keep you in your on time all day. Now you can be in different stages, different heights of your on time, and your dosage and your timing, so your really your amplitude and your frequency, are going to figure that out. But we also have drugs like Cinemat CR and Riteri and Crexant, and their idea is to get you up into your perfect on-time spot and keep you there and just drive you right along. And it, with like with Riteri, you have to take it every once in a while and bound it back up because it's a combination of the immediate release and the controlled release. So. Their idea is just burp, straight, smooth ride through the whole day in your on-time section. Now we also have new products like Duopa and Vrelev, and they have a different way of delivering the carbidopa levodopa, and their idea is that it just skipping the GI in some cases of just delivering this constant flow of the goodness that keeps you right there in your on-time. However, as you live longer and longer with Parkinson's, and as you take Cinemat longer and longer, things start to change just a little bit. So that band of goodness tends to get a little narrower and a little bit more difficult of a target. So the amount of carbidopa levodopa you were taking is not giving you as much good time. So you get a little gap of downtime between your dosages. Whereas that used to be enough, it isn't anymore, so you're having these downtimes. So you've got a couple options. You can take more, and it'll bound you a little higher, or one of those, you know, like the continuous release stuff, or the deep brain stimulation. So there are a couple ways to do that. Deep brain stimulation comes in two targets, and they're actually physiological targets in your brain, and they do two different things. So the STN, the subthalamic nucleus target. The idea is that it broadens out your band back to sort of back in time in Parkinson's so that these original dosages do their goodness again, do the right thing again. So that's its idea, that STN target, is to push you out to your former bands. The other one, and that's where we get into the high portions of your goodness band, so you've got your band of on time, but like people young onset, when they've been taking a lot of carbidopa levodopa, or they've been taking it for a long time, a lot of times they'll overshoot uh, the good time and come back down, they're on time. And they're metabolizing it faster, so they're having to take more of it and more often just to give them any time in these on times. However, when you overshoot, you get up here into what's called dyskinesia, that uh, Michael J. Fox kind of writhing. So up here is dis, uh, uh, dyskinesia. So that's the overshooting. So you've got on, off, and in some cases, the dis, dyskinesia, okay? That second target of DBS targets these dyskinesias. It's the GPI targets, the globus pallidus internus. It, the idea behind that is it eliminates or at least reduces the side effect of this dyskinesia here. So you're able to, instead of just getting these little two short bands out of your dosage, you get all of this dyskinesia and everything is considered on time. So that's the very, very simple idea is that you're bouncing along 
in your chart and you have your band, you take your carbidopa levodopa. As your band shrinks, you have options of continuous delivery or uh, drugs that give you continuous delivery, or you can do DBS to push it up or down, or in some cases, get the DBS uh, GPI to eliminate that high dyskinesia area. So, simple? Not really. <laughs> this is a very simple way of explaining a very complicated topic, but it helps me, so I hope it'll help you. See ya.